Hello everyone. Welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we are diving deep into the world of keyword research using SEMrush, one of the most powerful tools out there to help you rank higher on Google and drive more traffic to your website. So in simple terms, keyword research is a process of finding the words and phrases people type into search engines when they're looking for information, products or services. So understanding these keywords is crucial because they help you tailor your content to what your audience is searching for. Now, there are different types of keywords you need to know about. Number one, head keywords. So these are short, generic terms like laptops or digital marketing. So while they have high search volumes, they are often very competitive. Number two is body keywords. Slightly more specific, these keywords are usually two to three words long, like gaming laptops or social media marketing. They still get a good amount of traffic, but are easier to rank for compared to head keywords. And number three comes long tail keywords. Now these are highly specific phrases like social media marketing course or how to do keyword research for a blog. They may have lower search volumes, but are much easier to rank for and often attract more targeted traffic. So in this demo, we'll cover how to master your keyword research using SEMrush. Specifically, we'll walk you through the keyword magic tool to find valuable keywords, the keyword gap feature to uncover gaps between you and your competitors, and the position tracking feature to keep an eye on your keyword rankings. We'll also explore backlinks to help you build a solid SEO strategy. So without any further ado, let's get started. So to get started, you first need to set up your SEMrush account. So here you will be given three plans to choose from. So first you have a pro plan. Then you have the guru plan and then you have the enterprise plan. So go through the requirements and you can choose accordingly. So here I have chosen the pro plan. So initially in the pro plan, you will get a free trial of seven days. So initially you'll be asked to enter your payment details and everything, but you won't be charged for these seven days of free trial and you can cancel anytime before your trial ends. So let's get started. Now the first major feature of SEMrush we are going to explore is the keyword research. So this is crucial if you want your content to rank well on search engines. So imagine you run a blog or website and you're writing about any topic. So you need to know what keywords people are searching for, right? So with SEMrush, you can enter a topic or keyword and the tool will generate a list of related keywords that people are frequently searching for. So first we'll be checking out the keyword magic tool of SEMrush. So let's say your blog is about what is digital marketing. So I will enter the keyword in the tool and select the region I want to target, which in this case is United States itself and hit the search button. And here's the magic happened. You'll see a list of all the related keywords people are searching for. So on the results page over here, you will notice columns showing keyword volume. Like for example, this is the keyword volume. So this is a data on how many people search for that term on a monthly basis. And then here you have KD, which stands for keyword difficulty. So this metric helps you understand how tough it would be to rank for a particular keyword. Okay. So here we have 100, which means, you know, which means it's highly difficult to rank for this particular keyword. Right. So if you're just starting out, it's best to target keywords with a lower difficulty score. So here you have the filter option and you can give a range from 0 to 49 which is ideal for beginners and then apply. So now you can say refine list of keywords which are easier to target. Like for example, what is freelance digital marketing or what is digital marketing agency? You know, all these has a lower keyword difficulty so you can, you know, start by creating content for these keywords. So you can also click on a particular keyword to know more details. For example, let's click on this particular keyword. And here we get additional details like the global search volume, the trend over time, and related questions that people ask. So here are the related questions that people ask. Now one key feature is the intent. So here you can also see the intent of the search. Like keyword intent basically refers to the reason or motivation behind a user's search query. And understanding keyword intent helps you create content that aligns with what the user is actually looking for. So basically, there are four main types of keyword intent. One is informational, then we have navigational intent, then we have transactional intent, and then we have commercial intent. So basically, informational intent means this is when users are searching for information or answers to specific questions. So they are not looking to buy anything. They just want to learn more about a topic. So it can be questions like how to bake a cake or what is digital marketing. Now, navigational intent means here the user is trying to find a specific website or page. 
so they already know where they want to go and they're simply using search engine to navigate to it like for example if instead of directly going to facebook and logging in they can simply type you know facebook login or nike official website so these are navigational intent now next we have transactional intent so this occurs when the user is ready to make a purchase or take a specific action such as signing up for a service so for example buy iphone 15 or order pizza online so these people are more likely to buy stuffs from your website and then finally we have the commercial intent so users with this intent are in research phase of making a purchase decision so they're comparing the products and looking for reviews of their products so examples are like best dslr camera 2024 or it could be iphone 15 versus samsung s23 etc so these are the information that you can actually get through keyword magic tool now next up is a game changing feature called the keyword gap so this basically allows you to find keywords your competitors are ranking for but you are not but then before moving on to this particular feature if you are interested to start a career in digital marketing then check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in digital marketing in partnership with Purdue University. This course provides a robust and industry relevant curriculum to help you become a certified digital marketing expert. The program covers essential digital marketing components like website creation, SEO, SEM, social media marketing, mobile marketing, content strategy, and many more. And it also covers advanced topics like leveraging ChatGPT and other Gen AI tools. You will gain hands-on experience through live interactive learnings, two conditional marketing simulations, case studies and capstone projects. Additionally, you will receive a Meta Certified Digital Marketing Association exam voucher and a Hootsuite Certified Professional Credential. So hurry up and enroll now. You can find the course link in the description box and pinned comments. So now let's come back to the keyword gap feature. So as I told you, this allows you to find the keywords your competitors are ranking for, but you are not. So for that, you have to simply enter your URL and your competitor's URL. So, for example, what is digital marketing? Okay, so here Mailchimp is ranking. So let's just you know, so this is our competitor basically. So we'll just copy the link address of this and paste it over here. Now this is our website. So we'll copy the link and paste it over here. So we can actually add up to three competitors over here, but then I'm just comparing with one. I've kept it as US. The location as US, and also we can, you know, compare for paid keywords as well as purely keywords. But right now we are comparing only for organic keywords. And let's just hit the compare button. And yeah, now you can see all the keywords they are ranking for that you are missing out on. So now you can use this to plan future content or update your existing posts. And this is the keywords that we are overlapping, like the both the sites are overlapping. So for example, you have published your content. But how do you track if it's ranking or not? So this is where SEMrush's next feature, which is position tracking, comes into play. So let's go to position tracking. So this tool helps you monitor your ranking for any keyword you have targeted. So you just have to go to the position tracking section. You have to enter your domain and set it up. So simplylearn.com is our domain. Let's set up tracking. Now here you can track your entire website or specific pages like this so let's track our entire website for now we'll stick with usa location and let's continue to keywords now here you can either manually enter keywords or import them so i'll be importing from some rush suggestions now here you can add up to 200 keywords but i'll be sticking on to 10 keywords and let's just import now the keywords are imported. Now we have to add keywords to campaign. Make sure you click this button, which is send me weekly ranking updates via email and let's start tracking. So once your position tracking is set, you can go to overview. And here you will find the list of keywords that you are actually ranking for. So let's just check it out. So you can actually, you know, press this particular button, view SERP. So for coding languages, these are keywords. So for the keyword coding languages, we are ranking first. And let's, for example, take descriptive statistics. So here also we are ranking first. So once your tracking is set, SEMrush will actually send you weekly updates on how your keywords are performing. So you can see which keywords are rising or dropping in rank and adjust your content accordingly. So you will even get an email report showing improvements like moving up from position 8 to 4 on a keyword. So it's an easy way to stay on top of your SEO game. 
So now let's jump into traffic analytics to see how much traffic your competitors are getting. So first you have to go to the domain overview and you can enter your competitor's website and you can hit the search button. So you can also filter it out as for organic keywords or pay keywords. So basically the SEMrush will give you an estimate of their monthly traffic top pages and their traffic sources. So these are the traffic for this for these particular countries. Then here you have the top organic keywords. So you can actually, you know, make content on such keywords and try to rank your site for these particular keywords. Now here you can find their main organic competitors. So this basically helps you understand what type of content your you know, competitors are making and to create such content in order to compete with them. Now another critical factor for ranking are the backlinks. So backlinks are links to your site from other websites. So the more high quality backlinks you have, the better your site will rank on Google. So SEMrush lets you analyze your competitors backlinks so you can try to get similar ones. So here you just have to simply enter your competitor's URL in the backlink analytics tool and hit the analyze button. So once it's loaded, you have to go to backlinks. So these are the number of backlinks that this particular website has and these are the referring domains. So the referring domains are particularly sites that refer to that has the backlinks of this particular website. Now again, these are the backlink types. So you know the backlink can be of any type. It can be of text, image, you know, form or anything. So here, like for this particular website, mainly the backlinks are of text type. So here, when you scroll down, you can find the backlinks. Here you have to go to active, just to check which are the active backlinks right now. And you have to go to the follow. So as you can see, this is the title and the URL of the page, which has the backlink to the website. And this is the backlink that is present on the website, which will redirect to on clicking. So basically the Squid General. Squid General is another website. So basically the Squid General website will be having the backlink of MailChimp. So that maybe, maybe you know, MailChimp might have written some blog for Squid General. So once you have read that blog, you will be required to, you know, press some particular link and that will redirect you to the MailChimp website. So there are numerous ways. So one of the ways to get backlinks is through guest posting like these. Uh, so basically some websites allow you to write content for them and then in return you can add a link back to your site. So you can build backlinks from platforms such as Quora and Reddit by participating in discussions and providing helpful content. So on Quora for example, you can search for relevant questions in your niche and write detailed answers for the questions and after writing the answers you can include a link to your website. And also on Reddit you can join relevant subreddits and engage in conversations sharing your link only when it genuinely helps the discussion. So by following their guidelines, you can submit content and include a link to your own blog, which will help boosting your SEO. Now, finally, we need to talk about maintaining a healthy website. So similar site audit feature checks your site for SEO issues like broken links, duplicate content and other errors that might be holding you back. So you just have to go to the site audit tool and enter your domain start audit so here you can also select the number of pages that it has to crawl so right now we'll just keep it as 100 and we'll start the site audit let's give it some time so once the audit is complete you'll get a health score and a list of issues to fix so let's just click and see once so as you can see this is the health score and these are the errors so this error, there are 14 errors of high severity and there are warnings. So warnings, this, these are of medium severity. These errors are of medium severity. Now here we can see if there are any broken links, how many issues are there, how many redirects are there. Now these are the errors. So let's just view the errors. Let's go to errors. So basically these are the errors. Like, you know, there are 10 structured data items which are invalid. One page doesn't have a title tag and some of it has format errors. So now we can go to a particular error and just hit why and how to fix it. So as you can see here, you can know a detailed explanation about the site issue over here. And in this section, you will get the suggestions on how to fix it. So this was how you could do a site audit and this helps to fix the issues in your site. So now before we wind up, I have a quick question for you guys. 
So what can you track using the position tracking feature in SEMrush? Option A, keyword search trends. Option B, your website's ranking for specific keywords. Option C, competitors backlinks. And option D, organic search traffic. So you can give your answers in the comment section. So that was it guys. Thanks for sticking with us through the SEMrush demo. We have covered a lot today from keyword research, defining gaps with the keyword gap feature, tracking your rankings with position tracking, analyzing competitors, and even building backlinks to boost your site's authority. Whether you are just starting out or looking to refine your SEO strategy, these tools are sure to help you improve your website's ranking and drive more organic traffic. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more tutorials. See you in the next video. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.